The owner of this guinea pig complained about its diarrhea and that it is eating its own watery stool. What are the vets going to do in this case? Watch this video to find out. This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vets. One of the causes of its illness is from the stress due to the previous surgery. The guinea pig had to come for a surgery two weeks ago due to the large swelling around its neck area. This left him with a scar and a stitching that causes a lot of irritation to its skin. One cause of its illness is that the owner changed its diet. She claimed that after the previous surgery, the guinea pig had poor appetite and became very picky with its food. Therefore, the owner changed its diet and the new food could have caused its diarrhea. Another cause of its illness is its swallowing of hair, which may be infected with fungus. Finally, the owner bought an anti mite spray from the pet shop and applied on the guinea pig. However, the guinea pig licked the spray off its skin and this could have caused poisoning, thus leading to diarrhea. One commonly asked question is, why do guinea pigs eat their own feces? This is because food is normally not completely broken down the first time and guinea pigs need to ingest it one more time to maximize nutrients. Now we will be shaving the guinea pig. This will make sure it does not swallow its hair anymore. Okay, this is the anesthetic, okay? 2% Then, it's just a short while I take it out Not necessary really I take it out So, uh, but if it, if it moves a bit, I put it back again uh, I put it back again Now we will be removing the stitch This will reduce the stress experienced by the guinea pig Okay, today is day 3, you can see that the guinea pig has passed normal well-formed stools and uh, quite a large amount, you can see we, we take out the pellets to video it and then to, to show uh, what the well-formed stools are as compared to the watery stools on day 1 when it came in. So the guinea pig is, is ready to go home. Today is day 3 of hospitalization. It's the 2nd of September 2017. Uh, during the treatment, it has lost the body weight of 120 grams. On day 1, its weight was 710 grams. And today, day 3, its weight is 590 grams. Its body temperature was normal throughout the treatment. Today, day 3, its body temperature is 38 degrees Celsius. So, now, let's talk about uh, how, why it's going home today. Today, day 3, is passing out well-formed and normal stool, while, as you know, on day 1, it's passing out grayish and watery stool. So now, we have given uh, him some medication for the uh, fungus on the skin. So this one is the antifungus test and we are, uh, there are some hair in the culture and after 14 days, if there's a fungus, there will be a color change. So we will know the uh, results on day 14. And uh, as you can see on the guinea pig, there are some uh, patches of skin with uh, dark spots and lack of hair. This is a skin disease, so on the left side there's a few patches. On the right side, there are also a few spots with uh, dark spots and on the belly, you can see there are also some uh, dark spots and lack of hair. And now to treat this fungus, uh, we will have to apply this uh, antifungal shampoo for 14 days and it's one time per day. 
Uh, after, uh, we will also give the guinea pig some antibiotics and painkillers as well as this uh, fiber to move the intestine for uh, di digestion. Yeah. So today the guinea pig can go home. Here are some advice for pet owners. Owners should be informed that self-treatment may not always work and owners should seek veterinary attention if self-treatment does not work. Owners should also be informed that after a major surgery, there could be short-term side effects such as loss of appetite and inactiveness. Finally, owners should check their pet for skin diseases. Dark spots and loss of hair are signs of fungus infection and owners should seek veterinary attention in this case. For more information, please contact us at the following numbers or write us an email at the following email address or visit our website at tobayobets.com.